Hey, 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 how you doing? Good morning to some people, good afternoon to some people, and good evening to some people. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it. Please, thank you, thank you. Hit the like button so people, um, you know, YouTube can see people are liking the video so others that's looking for it can find it easy and the notification bell. You know how that works. When I put one up, you get a notification that I put one up. Did that vid, uh, dialogue on marriage. And um, obviously, it rang a bell for some people, struck a nerve for others, caused some more people to actually think and I got some positive feedback. And listening to the feedback actually uh, gave me motivation to speak a little bit more on marriage because uh, to my surprise, there are some people that still sincerely believe that they want to be married. So let's talk a little deeper about the word married. You know, you can go to a dictionary and it'll tell you, uh, you know, agreement, a union between two people. And it's all several different types of definitions about married. And when you think of married, you tend to have a thought that this person is someone that you're going to be with personally, physically, mentally, spiritually, sexually for the rest of your life. That's the way, you know, when you say marriage. What we've known about marriage was just that. This sister, this brother is the only brother, the only sister you can be with sexually. For the rest of your life. You can have friends. But you can't have sex with them. The only person now. Because you married. That you can. Legally. Have sex with. Is this man and this woman that you married to. You see I'm getting straight to the. Point. No time to waste. When you talk about marriage. That's one of the biggest. Things that shake a lot of people. Because it's the commitment level also. You committed to this person. And the commitment now in 23 is based upon what? Sex. You got money. You can loan some money to a friend or you can give some money to a friend. But you can't give no, you can't loan no sex to a friend if you're married. Because when you're married, According to the marriage that we know about, sex can only be done with the person that you married to. Unless you all see marriage in a different light. Because in 2023, it's, it's basically like nothing is the same as it used to be. When you talk about morals, commitment, you know what I'm saying, marriage, everything is different now. Especially in America, it's like everything just whacked out. Look at the government. You know what I'm saying? The government hollering and screaming about what kind of clothes you wear in the Senate floor. Huh? And then they, they hollering and screaming over nothing. But at the same time, the people that's doing all the dirt, they ain't saying nothing to So marriage in 2023, li listen, let's get straight to the chase. Marriage is really now because them old ways, them old traditions, they just ain't sticking no more. People ain't sticking with that because, you know, those old traditions, they rooted in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. 
in this society we living in today in 2023, ain't nobody sticking with that. It's like whatever you want to do. And you know, people have gotten so free sexually that, you know, you can lay with this person and that and still be married. But marriage now is, 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 is what you decided on. Okay. So y'all want to get married. All right. You know where it is right now in 2023? Because the elders basically done disappeared. I'm not even really, I don't, I don't, I don't look at myself as an elder. Okay. Six months, five months, six months, I'll be 62. I really don't see myself as nobody's elder. I mean, when you start hitting 80, that in my mind for this life, that's what I say is an elder. Okay. But a brother like me, a young dude like me is 61, six man, please. But I know some stuff, a lot of stuff. And I don't know some stuff and I don't know a lot of stuff, but what I know, I know. And one thing I know in 2023, everything has changed on this planet when it comes to society. And I'm looking about America now because this is where this information most is going. I, I got the, you know, analytics and I'm being listening to in several different countries, but mainly in America. And guess what? Out of the main city, Atlanta, Georgia, most people listen to me are living in Atlanta. You know, YouTube has those analytics you can find out where they living what time they listen to you the age group the gender the race everything so that's that's interesting most of my listeners are in atlanta georgia united states of america a few people here in israel but see it's the language thing that keeps me from blowing up here in israel because israelis you know they speak english but this here type of English, uh, they, you know, it's hitting and miss. Because I'm speaking like I'm just sitting right there in the, in the house with you. And that's what make my conversation to some people so attractive. Because, you know, it's just like two brothers, a, a brother and a sister, two friends just sitting down, chopping it up. And I'm just talking, you know. But in 2023... You know what? Marriage will have to be something agreed upon between the two individuals and exactly how they want to do it. Because the old traditional way of being married, you know, it, it, that ain't, that ain't you, you know, the people that you see with these mega platforms like stars and entertainers and sports figures and popular people like that, where they got millions of people following them. That's the people you say with big platform. That means, you know, they speak millions of people. Listen, and those individuals actually are trendsetters and believe it or not, role models. And so when you have entertainers doing whatever, you know, the rap industry is a very powerful, powerful, influential industry. You got those brothers and sisters rapping, hey, who, you know, and, and they get a lot of people caught up into that. And they say things and you be programming people, man, you know. And then you have these young brothers and sisters come along and see that and pattern themselves after that. And you got the young daughters talking about boss bees and, you know what I'm saying? And the young son, they want to hit it from the back. So everything based on sex. You see the incredibly shaped sisters on Instagram shaking and dwiggling, jiggling and you know, and I want to make a point about that I saw this sister last night on Instagram and she she only had panties and a bra on and she was sitting and had the camera on the floor right up on her coochie and you can see the hairs and everything and that's okay on Instagram but if I say something about a person, maybe the Jew, boom, it's a problem. But they'll let the sister get on there and literally show her private and the hair around the panted edges, and that's okay. And then the other sister with the big booty bouncing and jiggling and clapping, that's okay. But if I tell the truth 
about a medical process, that's a problem. You see how whacked out this is? So when you talk about marriage in nowadays, it's like it's no one set standard that everybody adhere to. People doing what they want to do. So for those of you that are sincere about marriage, you know what you know what I feel you're gonna have to do. You have to feel somebody. You, you what I feel that you're gonna have to do if you really want to be married. Married, you're gonna have to find someone that think like you about marriage. Like those two people out there, Will Smith and his wife. Now, my personal feeling about them two, I think they should straight knuckleheads. Them two right there, Will Smith and his wife, Jada. I think for just they just some knuckleheads. And they some knuckleheads that really don't realize. And if they realize, they really don't care about the impact of the things that they're doing on innocent people that's looking at them. Look at their two children, the boy and the girl, Willow and the boy. I mean, they about is what? You look up, she doing this, she doing that. He doing this and acting this. They just all over the place. Okay. And so this is what our young people are looking at. You understand? And then she had this affair with another dude and the world know about it. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all don't have no, 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 not coming out of Hollywood. Hollywood controlled by them people. And this is what folks is looking at. And so you're trying to have a decent, respectable relationship with the brother you with or the sister you with. But you had to get up in their head and find out what is it that, you know, inspire them, motivate them. What What is their, you know, who, 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 you know what I'm saying? Who did they shape? The, is that someone, some purple person or people? that they try to shape themselves, pattern themselves after. If they like a star, if, if the sister like a star, like Jada picking Jada Smith. And so this sister is trying to be like Jada Smith. And from what I hear, they have this relationship where he can go sex other women and she can go sex other men, but they still married. I've been around too long to get out like that. I, I Man, you can't, uh-uh. You can't go out there and let somebody else, you know, jump in and out of you. And then you're going to come back and open your legs to me. The way I see that is like, okay, look at it mathematically. And numbers are accurate. Six over here in Israel is six over there in America. So if you lay down with a woman, right? And you go into her. And that woman... Before she got with you the day before, she laid down with just say two men. They could be black or white. And when she laid down with them two men, those two men had laid with four women the week prior, each one of them. So this dude had had sex with four women and that dude had had sex with four women. And now them two guys going to lay down with this woman and go into her. So now she just received 10 people. The four women that they had sex with and them, that's five. And so that one, one guy represent five people. The four women that he had sex with and the other guy represent the four women he had sex with, which is five. So this one girl lays down with 10 people. Because the energy of them women is still floating on this guy. And then he shoot that energy into that woman, that energy into her. Then she let this other guy shoot into her. And she just is about as bad, crazy, a, a total nut. And then she come to you with all of that. And you're going to get up in there. So you see, you see how this thing is when you be out here just floating and with anybody and then you don't even realize at the end of the day, that's rooted in satanic devil worshiping. And so if you don't realize that that seed from a man 
has incredible power and energy and vibrations in it. And it goes up in your private part where, you know, uh, uh, if you if you really haven't learned about uh, the way the body works, the nervous system work and the sensations, the way the nervous system is affected, then you you missing a lot when it comes to this physical relationship they call sex. And so when this man put that seed in you, every single time he needs to lay down and rest. And what I'm about to tell you now may be the reason why when you look around, most men die before women do. I just had that conversation earlier today with a friend of mine. Because we were talking about how many people done died here lately. All brothers. And they, they, the wise is outliving the brother. And so what I just said off the top of my head, I said, you know what? Maybe these brothers die before these sisters because they be stressing about too much. Now, I just said that in the conversation. You know how you be talking sometimes, you kick something out that you really didn't really deeply think about. But now that behind sight, going back, thinking about that statement, is the brother be stressing over more than what the woman do. But you know what? Every time that brother put that load in that woman, he released an incredible energy into her. And he really need to roll over there and sleep for a while until his body wake up. Because once he released that energy, hopefully he's been nourishing his body with the maca powder, with the, uh, 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 um, the spirulina, you know, the sea moss, the real good food that fuels the body. And so if he have proper nutrients in his system, once he put that energy into her, they call seed. Or some people, when you bust, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, busting a nut. I mean, come on, now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. When you ejaculate and you put it in a woman, right? It You really need to be able to lay down and sleep for a period of time. What's going to happen is once you reach that climax and you release all of that feeling and emotion, and then, boom, you need to be able to lay down. But you know what? The way these young folks doing, they 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 delivering that seed. I don't want to be said the nasty way, but once he put that seed into the person, man, you know what? In 2023, I said person, right? Because you don't know who doing what. Anyway, the point I'm talking about is when the man released that energy, he really, really, really would do well to sleep for a period of time. Now, how long he sleep would depend on his body. He'll go to sleep and then he'll wake up when he basically been rejuvenated. Okay. And it depends on how well he nourished and how well he sleep. Because why? The woman gets all that energy. A lot of time, them girls get up, they be feeling good. Because why? They don't got receive your energy. And that's the way that thing be happening now. And so here you married, all right? And you don't really want to give that energy to just anybody. You don't want to lay down with just anybody. Because this is a transfer of energy, right? And then you be having children. And believe it or not, your children is the net sum of the two of y'all. And if the two of y'all some knucklehead, don't don't get upset because your baby's out there dang on mine. The baby is it's like one and one is two. But in this situation, one and one is three. One of you and one of him made that baby. That's the third person. And that is a derivative of you. And if you all some damn fools, some knucklehead, don't get upset because the baby running around half ass crazy. That child is a direct result of you all spiritual energy. How you had them, the thought process you were dealing with, all of that goes into making that child. So these things that I'm sharing with you is critical. When you talk about marrying somebody, you understand. And so now in 2023, you really need to get with a person that think like you. All right. Because why? You all uh, relationship to each other is what's going to maintain the sanctity of the marriage 
on the level that you all want. Okay, so if you got a sister and for whatever reason she says she just don't want to be married. Okay, cool. But she's willing to commit to you. Now, you all got to sit down between you two as adult and define what you all understand as a commitment. Okay, what exactly are you saying you commit to me? How? Define that. What? Explain it. I commit to you in the area of sexual relationship. I won't have sex with anyone else but you. I'm committed to you in that level. And then... My commitment is that I'm not going to discuss any of our physical, sexual relation experiences with none of my girlfriends. I don't, close, I don't care how close we are, and I'm not going to share any of our physical relationship with any of the brothers that's my friend, that's been my friend since whenever. That's our sacred, you know what I'm saying, own private sacred see information you can't be running around talking about what your wife looked like down there I, I just share a story with you I was on this job years ago brother just married this sister everybody know we everybody know everybody and this nitwit, and you know, this this is so terrible. This nitwit was, was just, I mean, you know, telling her, oh, man, last night, boy, I was whipped. And he called his wife's name, and he said, man, it was so hot, wet, hairy, and tight. Ooh. And I'm standing there. I'm looking at him. I'm like, whoa. So I, so I pulled him over to the side. It was about five or ten brothers out there listening to him. Describe his wife. Private part. I pulled him over to the side. I said, dude, what the hell is it? You know, I mean, I went there. I'm not going to curse and say the same thing here to, in front of you all. But I went up in him like reckless abandon. And you know the point that I made it explicit, specifically clear to him? Is that, Negro, you done put your wife coochie in my mind. Now... I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm, I don't want to disrespect your wife. You understand? But you done made it pretty daggone hard, nigga. Cause you talk about what it looked like, what it feel like, the temperature and all that. And you said that in front of me and 10 other niggas. So every time one of them dudes see your wife, that's what they're going to think about. I thought you had more sense than that, man. Now I got to try to erase that and somehow or another get it out of my mind. So when I see your wife, which is a sweetheart, my mind don't go there. Because I'm a man. So when you talking about getting married in 2023, you need to be talking about what it is that you and this other person you talking about being married, well, the way y'all see marriage and what you think marriage should be. Because if you don't get that together, You'll get married to somebody and discover later on, uh-uh, no, what do you mean? I, I, would, I like that guy. I'm going to go get him some because I want, you know, what? You can't do that. I'm coming back. I'm still your wife. What? You can't go and lay with this man, girl? Dude, you should have found that out before you got married to her. Because she thought being married was staying in the house with you every night, but she could lay with other guys. And then this dude come in smelling like the other woman in the white hole. Whoa, 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 partner. What the hell? Where you been? Oh, uh, I was over there with Deborah. Deborah? Who? From my job. She said she hadn't been with a man and she was horny, so I helped out. What? And so the sister, you didn't know the brothers thought like that? Yeah, he's your husband, but he feel that he can go and... And his sister need a little help down there. He he feel that he got the magic to make the, what? So you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> in 2023, you got this. You got this. Really, really get into the head and mind of these people that you talking about making these personal relationship with, getting married and living with every day. 
And then again, remember the old folks say you really don't know nobody until you live with them. Huh? Yep. So so you can be out there dating and courting and, and whatever, heavy petting and all that kind of stuff you want. But you really, 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 I don't care how much you think you know this person. Start living with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm telling you, trust me. Been that, done that. And some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You don't know these people till you live with them. And the, and, the, and the last thing you want is to go through all this marriage stuff. The hassle of the money, the planning, if you're going to have a way on that side, uh, securing the location, the invitation, and making it nice and trying to make it the most beautiful event because you're supposed to do this once in your life. And then you look up when y'all, but you know what? I really, I really shouldn't even go, go through all that. Why? Because most people nowadays, they're not already going to be in and out of each other like the supermarket. <laughs> you already know what it's like. Why they got married on just something they wanted to do. Because y'all know how it is, man. Ain't nobody, very few people sticking to no sex before marriage. I sound like a dinosaur saying that. I know it, don't it? <laughs> 2023 negro please i got to test it i got to test the water to see if it's gonna be worthwhile you know ha! Woo! it's so whacked out nowadays so i would just think that you know um it'll be best to get with someone and see where they hear that does it compare to yours i will it compare to your how will you all match up and think about things and just go with that. That's what's going to really uh, cause you all to stay together longer because you all uh, share the same ideas, ideologies, and concepts about life and things. And you really need to have that discussion. Don't be afraid to go in there and ask all those critical questions because after the marriage ceremony, and you find out it wasn't Dr. Jekyll, it was Mr. Hyde, it wasn't an angel, it was a devil, it'd be too late. It'd be too late. And I know brothers, these sisters, got these incredible bodies they built. Big old nice hips and thighs and juicy and whoo, they look good. But, 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 I don't mean booty. I mean, B-U-T, but you got to make these decisions with the high head and not the low head. Because if you make these decisions with your low head every single time, you're going to wind up in a bind every time. Because the low head ain't got no sense. The low head just got feelings and emotions. And you can put that thing on some of these girls and it can feel so good. They get to the talk about, oh, baby, I love you. And you say that stuff, too, while y'all, you know, touching each other. Oh, I love you, baby. Because that sensation is tied directly to the love chakra. And if you stimulating it enough, you're going to feel that passion for the person. You understand? And that's what a lot of people be looking for. Let me drop this on you. About the dopamine sack, sex and ejaculation and climax. Right here is where it's all at. Okay, the dopamine sack is an area that sits right behind the bone in your head, right in between your eyes. Okay, in between your eyes, just about a half inch up, right there in the middle. If you put your finger, your index, they call it the third eye, right there. In that area is a gland that's called a dopamine sac. Dopamine, dopamine sac. What that does, it holds this particular uh, fluid that when you are stimulated and you reach a uh, climax, the nervous system being stimulated, the brain will cause that uh, sack to relieve one drop of fluid into your nervous system 
And when that happened, that's when you reach that climax. That's when you have that feeling. That's where it'd be like, that is it right there. That's what you're looking for. And you know what y'all call it, busting. And once you reach that, what actually happened is that dopamine sac released one drop of that fluid into your nervous system. And that's where you reach that climax. You, you did it. Okay, now, uh, crack, co crack cocaine <clears throat> causes the dopamine sac to burst open and release all that fluid at one time. That's like having 40 ejaculation at one time. Now, you know, some people, when they have a climax, uh, that experience really, really takes them over the head. They go through a lot of stuff, okay, because of the feeling. Now, can you imagine having 40 at one time? When that one send you over the edge, like, whoo, you need to re re recuperate. And that's what crack co cocaine does. Some people explain it as it go take you real, real, real high and boom, bring you down. Some people have died from that. So all of this is tied up into how you going to relate to this person in what you call marriage. It all ties in. And today in 2023, y'all know that it's about sex and money. What you can do for me. You know what I'm saying? Marriage, really now, it's going to be what you, the two of you all decide. Because what the elders used to say is not being said anymore. You don't even hear elders talking. You know? This business done went whack all the way. So if there are those that's out there that really truly want to be married, the bottom line, the person that you think you want to marry, you all got to get in each other's head, ask all them questions that you thought you didn't want to ask, go there. You know, you be around some people that say, no, nah, man, we ain't going to go there. You better go there. Why? Because that's where the devil at. See, the devil listening to you. And when the devil here say, no, nah, man, I ain't going there. That's exactly where he at. Exactly where he at. You want to marry somebody? Y'all better get somewhere and get and ask every question that you feel is super intelligent. And the most dumb, stupidest question you feel you be embarrassed about, you better go there. Get you some answers. Get all up in their head. Because why? You got 24 hours on the clock, right? Say you get in the bed 30 minutes. And you now you know what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna do you, I'm do you, I'm gonna do you a solid. Y'all get in the bed an hour. You kissing, licking, pushing, stroking, pinching, rubbing, whatever. For one hour, you're a tiger in the sheets. Now. What you going to do with them other 23 hours? If you can't stand the person, it's going to be a rough 23 hours. You see what I'm saying? So it better be you with somebody that you can relate to everywhere in your life. Not just in the bed. You got to relate to them in the bathroom, in the living room, in the kitchen, in the den, in the library, on the front porch, the back porch, on the front yard, the backyard, in the car. In your life, that person has to be someone that you really, really enjoy being with 24 7. Not just in the sheets. I mean, the sheets is just a part of the, I'm, I'm saying sex is just a part of the relationship. You really d shouldn't build a relationship based upon just sex because it's going to let you down. It's going to let you down eventually. It ain't going to just stay that way. You know, you know I mean, Time take its toll on you, you and her. So if you got together because of the sex and now the sex is waning, what you going to do? You understand? So you need to get that head game together. What you like, what you don't like, what kind of ice cream you like. And then, you know, respect it. It's their truth. Just because you like lemon ice cream, you can't go and try to force him to like lemon ice cream. The dude told you he liked vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. Why would you even say, you sure you don't like vanilla? That's a grown man. You see, it's stuff like that that you have to get worked out before you even get started. Because if you keep doing the guy like that, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get under his skin. The man say he want vanilla. You like lemon. Just you. 
because you like lemon, you can't go over and try to say, oh, I'm going to make him like lemon because I like lemon. You ain't going to make him like lemon, but you're going to make him start hating you. Why you got to do that all the time? And see, don't be talking about you getting married and you 20. Don't do that. I'm saying if you under 30, forget being married. Why? Because you're too daggone young mentally, psychologically, spiritually. You mess around and get married and what's going to happen is your mind going to change. The same bullshit that you didn't mind putting up at 25 because she didn't know how to cook. You just figured out something else. Now you're 35 and your paper ain't stacking right. And she still don't know how to cook and you can't afford to keep eating out. So that's what I'm saying. If she don't know how to cook, you better get over there to your mama house or your grandmother or somewhere and get a, you know, some cooking lessons. Because as you get older, brother, you are going to get to a point where you ain't going to have that saying, oh, my baby, man, please. You ain't, every time y'all eat, you got to spend $30, $40, 50 because she don't know how to cook. Oh, you think it's cute. Shit, <laughs> wait. You're 25 now. One day, dog, you're going to wake up, you're going to be 35, 45. And guess what? Your mind going to change. I'm 61. I'm telling you, I went through them psychological changes. You do change. I don't mess with no sisters they can't cook. Don't even come up here talking. I don't know how to cook. Stay over there. Send me a text message. Oh, well, I thought, yeah, I like you, but I don't want to be with you. Because you don't know how to cook. I got pots and pans. I got induction cooker. I go shop, got all kind of food. And you don't know how to cook? Uh, what, 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 what you need, uh, sister? What, what can I do for you? Oh, and I just came to see you. Okay. You see me. What else? Well, you know, I just thought, no, no, boo-boo. You don't know how to cook. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, serious. What? I mean, it's like that. Yes, it's like that because I eat. And I don't want to be, you know, man, the other day I ordered some Chinese vegetable fried rice and vegetable spring roll. That job was a hundred and, let me get it right. It was 113 shekels. Okay. Almost $30. And you think I'm going to do that every night? It, no. I take that same money and go buy me a big bag of Boss Money rice. I got seasoning. I always keep seasoning. And I eat that Boss Money rice, eat off that for a week. If, if you know, if, if, if I'm just saying, give you an idea, but it ain't going to be just rice. Like last night, I went and got some food before I went home. And you know I'm single. I cook good. Some days I come in from work. I don't feel like making a big meal. But last night I wanted to do something. So what I did, I hooked up some real nice creamy vegan mac and cheese. Seasoned that baby. I cooked them noodles just right. Not too soft. Not too hard. I rinsed, rinsed them. You don't wash them. Rinse them. And then I put my sauce in the pan. Hooked the sauce up real good. Got it good. Then I pulled the, 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 the elbows back in there. Got that baby seasoned up real good. And then I steamed those big, nice sausages like that's They're not sausages. They, over here, they call nick nick like hot dogs. They're vegan. Like, like which, in the States, you have turfuki, right? And so I seasoned two of them big babies. And I had some, uh, some uh, buckwheat pita bread. I, see, uh, I steamed all that. Steamed the big sausage, the pita bread. And, you know, the, the mac and cheese tastes so good. That I actually put a little bit of that. I dipped the the as I ate the the, the dog, the hot dog, the vegan hot dog. I dipped it in the mac and cheese and ate it. And it was a real nice flavor. You know, that's just something, you know, for me. But if I'm dealing with a, a, a serious sister, she got to know how to get in the kitchen. That's a prerequisite. Don't even come up here talking about you don't know how to cook. That, that's going to be a big no-no. The sex is going to be off the chain for that one hour after that. Them other three hours, what are we going to do? You know, I like to read. I like to study. You know what I'm saying? I like to listen to the news, all the news. Africa, Israel, America, Canada, Russia, China, Japan, Latvia, Estonia, everywhere. 
I, I just like that, you know. And I like to discuss international things, local things, domestic things. Right now, Israel government is just in a topsy turvy because them bandits, them criminal. You know what I'm saying? And so we gotta have intellectual discussion. We can't just sit up and talk about stars and entertainers all the time. You know, it's me and you. So you talk about building these relationships. You want to build a mental, psychological relationship first. You know what I'm saying? You want to get up in that mind and make a relationship up there. That's the first thing you want to do. Okay? And then after that, you know, once you all figure head to head, you all think of like, like whatever, if you want to commit and be with each other, then that's on you. Well, you do what you do. And I'm pretty sure that once you... Uh, get to know each other and figure out where each other at mentally, psychologically, spiritually. It should be pretty good. You know, you all should enjoy each other, that companionship. Because going to bed every night, uh uh, that job for the birds. Uh, trust me. Been that, done that. We, we weren't created to be by ourselves. Uh uh. No. This being single, drug that. But at the same time, you don't want to be with nobody. Gonna run you up the wall, get in your house, and you don't even want to go home. Man, you want to be with somebody you can't wait to get to the house. You take a day off work just, just to stay with her a little bit longer. You understand what I'm saying? And you can do that. You can have that in 2023 if you go at it right. Then you meet somebody, go and, and visit a family. If she have a mother and father, sit down and talk with them. See, see what they talking like. Brothers and sisters, check them all out. See, who, you know, how the brother and sister roll. Because all them family members is going to be able to show you who you about to get with on the real, you know. And so after that, if you do those basic things, get to know her head. When I say get to know her, I'm talking about get to know what she like, what she don't like. Favorite colors, that's basic. Where she at on sex, where she at on money. Oh, whoo, money. You see what I'm saying? You have some, some people, they don't want you to know nothing, nothing, nothing about their money. Are they willing to help in a financial crisis? You know what I'm saying? Do, do they have ability to generate income? All of these things, you got to go deep into their psychological understanding of these things before you're talking about committing. And then your level of commitment. What, what does that mean to you? What does it mean to her? You understand? Y'all got to get all that out. And then once you get that together, you know what? You will reach another level of comfort and peace with this person because you all would have discussed all these critical uh, points and you will have a better understanding of each other, how you're thinking, and, and, and you'll have a better relationship in the long run. You know, in the long run, because once you find somebody really to think like you, you better hold on tight. And if they don't want you going out screwing somebody else, you need to figure out how to keep it live with, 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 with you. They have these sex shops. People go up in there. You know, you have couples go in the sex shop and get all kind of little things to help keep that sex life popping. Try that, you know. But if you find somebody that you can get along with, you can be comfortable with yourself. You ain't got to bend and twist yourself like a presser to be with that person. You can come in a little sweaty from work and exercise and they ain't finna call the police on you because you got a little smell on you. Jump in the shower, knock yourself off with a little Dr. Brunner, you know, uh, peppermint soap. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself fresh, slap a little something on. Hey, throw a little cocoa butter on your elbows or some organic coconut oil. Fix yourself up and go and have a good time. You understand? <clears throat> but if you with somebody that you uncomfortable with, that ain't going to work. You got to be you. And I ain't talking about you got to be no ass, your butthole. You got to be you. And she got to be her. Y'all got to be able to sit there and, 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 you know, she ain't got the makeup on, ain't got the weave, to real hair out. And she walking around with an old t-shirt with the neck. You know how, you know how to, when it get old, the neck be all lose this elasticity and a breast flopping around. And she got some sweats on, a pair of socks, a black one and a blue one. And she, you still love her. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't going to say no more. You know, I had a good time. Look, y'all, hey, I said it because I love you with a perfect love. 
I love you from the basement of my heart to the attic of my mind. I love you 24 7. I mean, I love you all the time. <laughs> the t shirt with the, with the collar, the neck on, man, and the sweat. Did she have, she did, she had a pair, she had one black sock on and one blue, would you say blue, green? Oh, wow. <laughs> you still love her? See, that's my girl. <laughs> She's looking all like that. I ain't never seen her like that. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> I love you 24-7. Y'all take it easy. Shalom.